Hey everybody, we're gonna do a little moto vlog about skydiving actually. So we're gonna mix things up. And I haven't done, I mentioned in one of my early videos that um, skydiving would be a topic on this channel. And um, what, uh, we haven't really talked a lot about it. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about it now. And we're just gonna do a little ride. Um, so I started my skydiving journey um, about in 2007. That was my first jump that I ever did. Nice boulevard. And that was, um, I was back in college, that was a spring break. Hey, let's go skydiving. Um, it went really well. Um, I loved it. Life-changing experience all around. And, but at the time there was, there wasn't enough money. I was in school, um, circumstances wouldn't have, uh, put me in a position to be able to really go any further with that. So fast forward about 10 years to, uh, 2019, I went back, um, with a neighbor and did another, another jump. And that was the point where I got hooked. I was in a different position. Um, full-time full job now and decided to uh, make it a uh, make it a thing um, so I entered the student program um, went through all my jumps um, and got got a skydiving license and um, if you guys aren't familiar with USPA licensure um, once you enter student status you need to get through essentially 25 jumps and pass all of your levels in order to get your A license. Your A license is 25 jumps, you take a written test, you um, have to go through that program and, and then you can jump on your own without an instructor. Um, it's pretty much your, your license to learn though. So it's, once you get through that, you are not a, not a uh, um, expert by any means. You are just safe around yourself and others. And you can go and start it to actually learn um, the sport of skydiving. So, fast forward that, once you get to 50 jumps, you can also take, uh, have to take a canopy course and then also do water training. You can get your B license. So that's 50 plus jumps in order to get that. And that's the licensure that I have right now. I am currently at 108 jumps, uh, not counting the one I did back in 2007 but that specific um, that specific jump I just don't count um, so 108 jumps that's where I'm at right now and um, the next license is the C license which um, that takes 200 jumps to get there and then a D, D license is, fi is uh, 500 jumps so that's the path you go through on your uh, skydiving journey now you can also do ratings, coach ratings, um, and instructor ratings. Uh, you can be an AFF coach, which that's the, the, the instructors that get you started, um, take new students up. Um, you can do uh, that, but um, that was a, that's a, a love of mine. So I've been doing that for the last few years. Um, got 100 dates jumps since 2019, and um, I haven't looked back. Now, this summer has been a little slower than most. Um, I actually had a, I had a had a child this year, so um, I've got a four month old. So this summer's been a little bit more difficult to um, get out to the drop zone, but uh, next year hopefully we'll be at a better place where I can get out there more. Uh, but that's my skydiving story. So we'll I'll include more skydiving content on this channel. So if you guys are interested in that, comment. Let me know. Is I know this. Uh, uh, my intention for this channel was to be heavily about motorcycles, but also about um, anything, anything action sports, anything that really just gets your gets your blood going. Um, that's the the focus of this channel. It's living life at at Redline, not necessarily just riding your motorcycle at Redline, right? So uh, that's the that's the idea of the channel. So leave a comment. Let me know. Does that resonate with you? Um, and uh, if it does, hang with me. 
and we'll get some uh, some skydiving content. And if you do, if you skydive, or if you have skydives, comment as well. Let me know uh, what what your experience was. Did you get licensed? Do you want to get licensed? Um, do you have questions about getting licensed? Um, it's definitely a, a community that, that participates in that sport, and uh, I didn't really realize that going into it, but um, you definitely do build a little subculture um, in your area around your drop zone. So um, it's kind of something special. So thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later.